This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I forgot how beautiful the drive is. Does it look like a beaver tail? We cannot ask for a more beautiful day. One minute, we have one minute. Oh, we need to go wow, it's fast. <laughs> we have to come see this side. This side is even more epic. Today we are taking a little day trip outside Calgary. We are heading to Banff National Park, which is Canada's oldest national park. And I feel like it doesn't need much introduction because it is pretty world famous. It tops so many lists for the must visit place in Canada. We are excited to bring you with us to revisit this beautiful place and try some things that we have never tried in the park. So we're just entering Banff National Park now, but we gotta grab our day passes first. It's $10.50 per adult, or you can buy a family pass for $21. So, so family, I think it's just like <laughs> if you're in the same car and you kind of look alike, <laughs> then it's like two to seven people is part of a family. No, family slash group. Oh, okay, so. okay. You don't have the look alike. <laughs> Hi. Are you here for the day? Yes. Uh, credit, please. For sure. And we just have to leave before 4 p.m. tomorrow. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Then we just have to put it here so that they know and see that we have a valid ticket and we don't get fined for being in the national park without paying. Easy. Easy. Not ask for a more beautiful day. It's so gorgeous. It's actually hot. Yeah. And we're lucky because even though there are wildfires right now all over like BC and Alberta, mm -hmm. so we've been told that it could get really smoky in this area, but it's clear enough that we can see the mountains. The mountains. So the town of Banff is very popular. It has over millions of visitors visiting every year and it's one of the most photographed places in all of Canada because it's not really beautiful in the summer it's also super beautiful yeah. in the winter and if you have a couple days of course it'd be nice to stay in Banff because there's like restaurants there's shopping there is nature wildlife mm -hmm. everything but it's it's not quite cheap. expensive <laughs> <laughs> I would say like a couple like two to four hundred dollars I think at least and if you want to stay at like the Banff Springs Hotel or like the Lake Louise Hotel which is very iconic that's probably going to be like over, over a thousand. five oh a thousand I think so. I was thinking 500 but maybe yeah like this but I really like this in my childhood I remember eating this which is beaver tails it's like a sweet pastry we would eat this in Whistler after we go snowboarding like my family so let's go try it <laughs> beaver tails pastries are deliciously addictive whole wheat Canadian pastries hand stretched to resemble the tail of a beaver have you had it before I don't think so Okay, we gotta try one. I got this one called the Kilolo Sunrise. It's the original, basically, cinnamon and sugar, and then you also have the lemon, which you squeeze on top. I think it will like cut the sweetness of that. Does it look like a beaver tail? I guess. Man, <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. I've had this before, you have it, so you get the first bite. It's just dough covered with sugar. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> freshly fried, made to order. Mmm. Yummy? Mm-hmm. The lemon gives it very nice uh, aftertaste. Cut down the grease a bit. Mm. And how much was this? I think it was around $8. Oh. I'm pretty sure when I first ate this, it was five bucks. <laughs> Inflation. But this with a cup of hot chocolate on a cold day was the ultimate treat. 
get bored of this view, isn't it? I think the winter view of this, like the two, um, the downtown area with the mountain is more epic in the winter. But downtown is actually quite small. There's other things you can do in Banff, like the beautiful Banff Springs Hotel is just down there. And there are even hot springs in the area, but it's really hot. So we're not gonna do that. We do need to go back to our car first because we are going to go take the BAMP gondola. So we just made it to the parking lot of the BAMP gondola. We have our ticket for 210 to go up because we pre-booked it. This is what they recommended us to do. But it's 204 <laughs> and we can't find parking. So fingers crossed we're gonna find something so we can make it at our designated time. I feel like it's a common problem though. Like there's limited parking here. So you think that even if we're late, they will let us on? I think so. I hope so. It's all, we already spent the money. <laughs> yeah, it's not cheap. This gondola is $75 a person. But we read the reviews and it said it's well worth it because the views up top is beautiful. And you can even do a little bit of like hiking on some trails. And there's restaurants and everything. Well, yeah, if we get up there in time. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Okay, we have Okay, like, we gotta run. Yeah, we have like two minutes to run. Let's go. One minute. We have one minute. Two or nine. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Now we can start to be excited. <sighs> I wonder if we get our own. We got a private one. Okay. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Real quick, we just wanted to say a big thank you to our longtime partner Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can easily build a website for any purpose. Whether you're growing your online business or building your portfolio, you can start with an award-winning template and customize it to fit your style. With their new drag and drop feature, you can be as creative as you want in your designs. And if you need extra help, you can access their detailed guides and videos in their help center. Just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flora and note to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video. Oh, here we go. Wow, it's fast. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow, this is pretty, it's pretty steep. Oh, babe, you have to look at the view behind you. Wow, that's humongous. These are so cute. I think this maximum fits four people. So it's like good for a family. But it's so nice we get all of it ourselves. short yeah that didn't feel like eight minutes oh well we're here we get to see the view from up here now Damn. I've been living here since 2003 and I haven't been up here <laughs> this is my first time isn't that crazy you have to come see this side this side is even more epic Whoa. oh wow there's so many <laughs> peaks that you can see from here yeah you can see the whole town from here. That's Banff. So this is quite interesting. It says long before the European settlers arrived, many of these mountains that we see in front of us were known by names in several indigenous languages. So it was only in 1858, many of the peaks were renamed in English after European people and places. So I think the closest mountains to us is Cascade and Mount Rundle. 
and then you can see the whole valley here which is really amazing all the way to that lake that is Lake Minnewanka which is one of the most famous lakes in this area and the beautiful river that flows right around the town is the Bow River it actually flows right through Calgary climb up really high. Climbed all the way up to the mountain? Yes. <laughs> oh, there's one more here. Bum needs a tan. So feeding wildlife is a huge problem here in the national parks because once the animals are used to human foods or used to humans coming so close to them, it gets really dangerous. And worst case scenario is that they may even have to put the animals down. Yeah. Like we've seen on the news before where someone on the highway saw bears, thought it was cute and gave them food. And then they had to put the bears down because then the bears were going too close to the campsites. To the communities. Yeah, yeah to the yeah. communities. Yeah, so then don't feed wild animals. Don't feed. And plus, there's like a $25,000 fine, so don't feed. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there. We made, made it to the top. <laughs> this is called the San Sun Peak, the highest point on Sulphur Mountain. And what we're seeing over here is the Old Weather Observatory, operated from 1903 until the mid 1930s. So Norman Sanson, the curator of the Banff Park Museum and the official government weather observer at the time, had to climb this mountain over a thousand times <laughs> to collect weather data. Let's go touch it <laughs> so we can tell people that we have been up here. People like to put their names on everything, huh? <laughs> Should we put floor and note here? Floor and note were here. <laughs> we know we've been here. We have a video. I remember the days All those years ago that never fade away And I remember your face What do we have here? Because we spent so much money getting those gondola tickets We decided let's not eat in Banff We packed a little picnic which is full of goodies. Some salami. Oh, everything's still nice and cold. And duck and pork pate with foie gras, bruschetta, some prune plums. Oh, these are my favorite. Orange juice with lots of pulp, baguette. <laughs> and for dessert, we're gonna have a little bit of our friend's wedding cookie. This is a great idea. Mm -hmm. Save so much money and and it's gonna be view. delicious. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm the view. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't our initial plan. Mm. We wanted to go to Maureen Lake, which is a famous lake on the back of the old twenty dollar bill. But when we asked around, once we got to Calgary, mm -hmm. they said that recently. You cannot drive directly to Moraine Lake. You have to book a shuttle bus to get there and you have to book weeks ahead. I think they just got too many tourists going. But we know that there are other beautiful lakes around in Banff National Park. That's why we chose to try this new one called Two Jack Lake. And I think it's quite a popular lake yeah. because there's a lot of people kayaking. They're on the Stand up paddle, paddle boarding. Yeah, paddle board. There's Swimming. also lots of families here that are doing barbecues Yeah. and plenty of picnic tables and grass for you to just chill out. So I think Banff is definitely not just famous for the Rocky Mountains. It's the lakes are quite a highlight of this area as well. Oh my goodness. 
pretty much ice water. Is it? Yes. Wait, now I need to find out. Hold on. <laughs> I need to know. You make it look like it's so cold. <laughs> so is it cold? My toes are frozen. <laughs> like, it's like an ice bath. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, how are these people in there swimming? Insane. I saw that guy jump in the water and swim to the middle of the lake, so I was like, oh, it's probably like a little bit warm. Holy crap. Yeah, I can't feel my toes. Okay, let's get out here. Well, I guess that's it, right? Should we head home? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one. Say bye.